Hello guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. Today we're going to fix some fault on a addressable fire detection system. So I, right now I'm attending a service call out and there are three existing fault in the system. The first fault problem is a loop two break. There's a break in loop number two and there is a missing or absent detector in the storeroom and there is another detector in the storeroom that is also missing we're going to look for those problems right now okay before we proceed to the field and look for the problem in the field a technician always analyze what seems to be the problem by looking at the board Okay, loop 2 detector 15, storeroom 2105. And then the next one you have a loop 2 break. Something probably is going on in that room that created a loop 2 break. This one, loop 1 detector 38, ground storeroom absent. Alright, so let's concentrate first on loop 2 detector 15 because I'm the one who installed that detector. This is the block plan that I created when I installed those detectors. So this is an installation. The previous installation was that. It was just by zone, but it never specified the exact location of each detector. When I did the installation in the other building, I specified the location of every detector I installed. And that was, uh, when was that? I think it's two years ago. Anyway, let's search and look for that problem first. Let's go outside and check what's going on. Okay, somebody is working here today. Sunday, today is Sunday and someone is working. Let's see what's going on. I think I know what's going on. They are some do and they're doing some renovation in one particular room, which is where the problem is to 107. Let's have a look. What happened here is somebody cut the cables because they changed the ceiling and gypro. So they left it inside the uh, ceiling, the roof, cut, with cut cables. So right now we are inside the ceiling space, uh, the roof. Uh, we're going to climb. No, good spot to climb. All right. Right. So we're going to search for it. It's probably here somewhere. What are these cables? I have no idea. Right. Okay. A bit hard. Was one hand. Okay. Let's go for it. So if you will notice in Australia, we just run our cables like this. So we punch a hole, run the cables, and there you go. So that's how we run our cables in Australia. Okay, let's look for that cable that was cut, probably here somewhere. And the one that I did punch. So that's our hole that I punched earlier. So this is where the room they are working. And there is our cable. See that cable there? That's our cable. I'm going to bring it out and solve the problem. This, right. So that's the cable. So look, the cable was cut. So we're going to bring this cable out. There you go. So that cable that we punch out and now inside the room, 
we're going to connect our detector. So two problem will be solved. So detector 15 will be back to normal and the loop to brake will clear. So let's go down and fix the problem. So we fixed already two problems, one more left. Loop 1, detector 38, ground store room. I found a rough floor plans in the fire panel. So this is how you see, I've done it professionally, while the previous guy or the previous company who installed this fire panel and all the detectors in this building have done it only this, look, a floor plan, which is just a wrap plan. At least they're showing us where the detectors are, but this is unprofessional. This is not acceptable, to be honest with you. Okay, let's search for that detector number 38 in this plan. This is the floor plan that was left by the previous installer. So we're looking for number 38. And sadly, it does not exist here in the plan. So how to search for it? There is another way. I'll show you how. Now we're going to search for loop one detector tape, 38 ground floor is store room. Since it's not available to the old floor plan, there might be a chance it's in the second building, the newly constructed building. So let's have a quick look. Let's check the status of other detector. 39, level 1, room F1. Then 40, so they are all level 1. So that means level 1 is in the newly constructed building. 38 is the ground floor missing. 37 is ground electrical room. So it's from... So the problem is there, in the assembly. There, in the newly constructed building. Let's go there. Room 3116. Possibly it's a storeroom. It looked like a storeroom. And then, there's our detector. Somebody tape it up, and it's not blinking. Okay, probably it's a bit loose. Let's check it out. And it's a bit loose, let's see. Yes. So it should be detector 38. So we found it, number 38. Tape was removed. Let's put it back. What was that? An alarm. Put it back. Let's see until it blinks. There you go. Now it's blinking. It's back to normal. Let's go back to the fire panel. All clear. Problem solved. Now we were able to fix the problem. I'm going to test the system since I am here right now. Normally, I test the system every three months because it takes me two hours from my home to here and then back another two hours. And I can only test this fire alarm system every three months and Saturday and Sunday. If I do that every month, which is required, it's going to cost them dearly, okay? So let's initiate the test. 
your attention please this is a test please disregard all emergency warning this is a test thank you all right take a quick test alarm test alarm i want that to be tested and let's go for it testing mode ground floor electrical Takes a while because the system Alright. Reset the system and then make the announcement. All testings are now complete. All testings are now complete. Thank you. See? Put the system back. Okay, so all is completed, perfect. Thank you for watching, this is Elmer, your fire protection guy. See you in my next video.